Do you still remember my last video about a quick review of Wuthering Wave Story? Well, probably not. It was an old video I made before the first beta, so it's understandable some people might haven't watched it, but anyway, what I'm going to talk about is, is there any kind of news or any updates about the game? Not just about the gameplay, but any other aspect as well, including the story, localization, all of the other things since the first beta. Well, the short answer is yes, obviously, because the game is still beta, things are subject to change. For a long answer, just watch this video to the end. I'm going to talk about recent changes they made, starting from the first beta up until now, December 24th. Now, previously, they have shown lists of feedbacks that they are going to address here from the first beta. And I'm happy to say that they have shown quite a lot of progress during the past 6 months. This is not just in terms of gameplay and graphics, but also localizations, story, and other things as well. Starting with the easiest one to notice here, recently they showed us a lot of character showcase. Your eyes can tell as much that things are not the same. Attack animation change, ultimate animation change, UI also change. This is based on G-Star showcase a month ago. I've made a video about this few weeks ago, you can check it out. And as for localization, just for your information here, if you are new, first beta was only available for CN, Japanese, and North American only. So another reason why we haven't get any news about the second beta is probably due to this localization. Certainly most of us here don't want that happen again twice. We want more people to be able to participate into the beta, so there will be more data, more feedbacks to the game. And as you can see, they have made several social media accounts here, for this case Twitter or X account. You can see all of them has a gold check mark, which means they are on official account. So if you guys are wondering if they are going to add more language in the future, you can just check their Twitter account here and see if your language is supported. Or you can just check their official website. You can also change the language here. Certainly, this is not the only localization that they are going to cover. There might be more in the future. But my point is, it's just to give you a general idea that second beta might be available for more audience later in the future. And also let this be a slap for people that wants the game to release faster. Wuthering Waves is an open world game. Meaning there will be a lot of contents needs to be added into the game. A lot of side quests, laws. You can imagine how many things they need to translate into different localization. Especially with the fact that they want it available even in more language than PGR, their first global game. And PGR is not even open world. So let they do their job so we can enjoy the game in complete state. As for the story, is there any changes from the technical test version to the current one we have? So as I said before, I made a video in the past. The general idea is still pretty much the same. You can check that video again if you want. It's still relevant, so the story isn't changing that much. But more like it keeps expanding and more details are added into it. For example, like the star symbol here that keeps appearing in every ultimate animation. Back then, there isn't any clear explanation about it. People were just speculating about it as a mark that appears because of their mutation, which is not entirely wrong, but recently the developer themselves just explained about it during the Tokyo Game Show livestream. You can check my video for translations. Translations. そして、その能力を戦闘などの様々な領域で活用している。主人公の漂白者も実は共鳴者らしいですが、真相は謎に包まれている。So what is that mark? It is basically a symbol that shows if a person is a resonator or not. So if you see any character with this star symbol in the future, it is safe to guess that they might be a future playable character because they are resonators. They also changed some character personality, for example like Danjin here. She used to obsess with family in the first beta. You don't think back on family. But now after reading the developer notes, they seems to change her. 
she's still a sadistic girl like she used to be but she used that attitude towards her enemy and from what i read she might be not in midnight rangers anymore she is now a traveler that wanders around clearing mission they are also adding more details with yuan wu for example i've never knew that he used to be a delinquent in the past they didn't mention it in the first beta recently they add more info about him so as you can see they do care not just about the gameplay but also personality and story building within the game which is i'm clearly down for it so that's all about the video i still have some clip left that i saved from the first beta i'm going to release it slowly in the future while we wait for another beta please look forward to that also merry christmas and early happy new year to you all hope we can get another beta early next year Comment if you have any thoughts, I'm willing to read and answer your question if I have time. Like and subscribe and I see you guys next time.